<laughs> All righty. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Uh, how is everyone feeling? It's been a busy day over here. Lots of calls, lots of trainings, lots of things happening. Um, but overall, we are all focusing on one common goal and is growing our teams, getting new market partners, sharing this blessing, this vision, and this opportunity with others. And that's truly what this is all about. I had um, a potentials call last night for one of my girls, girls, for one of my potentials. Um, and it turned out to be such a great conversation. I'm going to share this quick story and then we'll go into the training, but it turned out to be such a great conversation because she came into it like against money, against network marketing. She was kind of just listening in to be nice. And I knew that, but I was like, okay, listen to me, give me 20 minutes. And then, you know, I told her about myself. I told her about the business, but then I dug deeper and we really connected and it just is a fresh reminder that this is so much more than just shampoo. This is so much more than just building a business. We are here, every single one of you are here for a purpose, for a reason, and you need to work your business on purpose, right? You need to like think, why am I doing this? Who do I want to attract? Why do I want to share? If you are sharing to just get another market partner, you're not going to. If you're sharing to change someone's life, to impact someone, to give them the blessing that you currently have, that is going to be the key. And that comes with a lot of confidence. And we're going to go over that in a little bit. But we've been having great trainings from Eric Worre. I mean, he has us working on that funnel, building that funnel, adding to the funnel, all business is conversation. Um, if you have not memorized that by by now, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's like, are you even paying attention on the calls? Today, I started reading um, the book, Get Over Your Damn Self in Book Club. And I mean, she's a, she said it. You need to be talking to people all the damn time. If you personally ask me, that's the hardest part for me about this business is when I found out I had to talk to people all the damn time because I was a huge introvert. I did not like to talk to people. I was super antisocial. But then I realized if that's the hardest thing that I have to do to change my life, to make some money, to get my family ahead, I'm going to talk to people. OK, so Angie and I today want to help you guys generate leads, kind of give you some tips because we know you have your list. We know you have your your hot market, which I will say this till the day I die. Every single one of us still has people in our hot market that we have not reached out to. We're scared. We're intimidated. We're assuming they don't want to do it. For whatever reason, I can think of people myself. I know Angie can. So I don't want to turn away from that hot market because till this day, I'm more comfortable with my hot warm market than with a total stranger. But obviously, we want to build a sustainable business, go long term over the years. We also want to attract leads, right? We want to generate leads. We want people to come to us. And you don't need a big following to have people come to you. You don't need to be doing the business for five years to have people come to you. You don't need to have hit certain ranks to have people come to you. Okay, the secret to have people come to you is give them something to relate to you. Okay, when you change your mindset from I want to look for market partners to I want to look for my community, you are going to see everything shift. Okay, so tip number one that I'm going to give you guys to help you generate leads when it comes to social media. I know a lot of us have been on, on the reels challenge, post a reel a day, and it's like, we, it has to be a business reel. It has to be a hair reel. And like, let's be real. How many hair reels can you do if you're trying to do a reel a day? I mean, you can, but unless you want your page to be all hair or all business, like it gets repetitive, it gets old. So I want you guys to dig into this real world or lives or posts, but I want you to target everything but money. I want you to find who are you talking to? Who are you like? Who do you want to be around? And that's how you're going to attract people to your page. So I recently started doing this. And if you follow me, you've probably seen a, seen a shift in my content. And I'm really focusing on mom content. I feel like ever since I had my second baby, I'm like reliving motherhood. And also relationship content. You know, I feel like I I, I got blessed with a second chance. I, I love, I found my soulmate and I want to share. I want to talk about it. I want other women to not lose hope. So I'm going to talk about babies. I'm going to talk about motherhood. I'm going to talk about relationship. And I say, I want to connect with other moms. I want to connect with this. And I just want to attract people to my page. I want to make friends. I want people to go to my page and be like, I want to follow her because I want to learn from her or I want to laugh with her or I relate to her. 
And then in my stories, I will do the selling. And every here and there, I'm going to throw a hair reel. I'm going to throw a business reel because this business has changed my life. The products have changed my hair. But the way that people are going to come to you, granted, you can be an Abby, you can be a Jade, and you have a hair reel go viral. And yes, people are going to come to you for hair. But that's far in between, right? You're better off attracting someone that you relate to, a community that you relate to. So for me, that's what I'm focusing on. And I don't want you to think, oh, Joe's already doing moms. Angie's already doing moms. I can't do moms. No, I'm doing moms. Angie's doing moms. We're two, two completely different moms. We're in two completely stages of motherhood. Angie has a sense of humor that I don't. So that is the first tip to generate leads. I will encourage you to try to get a little more creative into like the five things that make you you. What makes you different? What makes you special? Who you want to connect with? And get those people to follow you. Get those people to comment on your reels. Engage back. Comment back. But then you need to make sure when they click on your stories, because they will, in your stories, you talk about your business. In your stories, you demonstrate the product. Okay? So that's the first tip. We're going to do reels attracting something else. Not money products. Not money here and there, attracting something else. Who do you want to meet? Who do you want to hang out with? Angie. No, I love that. And I feel like so many of us that we expect people to reach out to us, but the sad truth of that is that nobody's going to reach out to you. So I feel like so many of us, we tend to overthink when we're reaching out to people and we're engaging in conversation. And it's really that simple. We're just engaging in conversation, creating a conversation to build rapport, right? Building that trust to then be able to pitch them I don't know whether that is this is literally my favorite line. I go, I'm like engaging in conversation. It's going back and forth. I feel like it's been a few days. And I feel like so many of us, we, yes, we like to do the cold messaging and works for some people, but I'm going to be honest, like it's mentally draining. It is mentally draining to, you know, look for all these people, spend time and sending this, you know, cold message where let's face it at the end of the day, like everyone's different. And again, you have to build some type of trust and, 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 and connection there to then want to, get them on right so like you know it's kind of like I think it was Eric Worre that said this like or was it Eric Worre no I think it was Bob Heilig Heilig however you pronounce his last name is he was saying how you know um we have to kind of like uh interview them how are they responding to your messages because if it's somebody just saying like yes no whatever or I'm not really gonna give them my time of day right so and if I am then like and I keep trying and it's outside of my name like think about it, is that somebody you really want to work with so when you guys are on it, like I go on my stories and if I see somebody posting a chihuahua, I'm like, oh my gosh, your dog is so cute. Is that a mix? I know it's a freaking chihuahua. I know it's not a mix, but guess what? I ask them a question and they're going to answer. People love talking about themselves. And that's how I'm going to be able to connect with them through that way. No, hey girl, it's actually, it's a chihuahua. How cute. Um, is it a girl? Is it a boy? Like how long have you had it? And I'm creating this conversation where it's going back and forth. Now they're seeing my stories, right? If they're following me back at these, and I'm just going from there. I'm like, and honestly, I'm very honest with people. I'll be like, by the way, like I've been, um, I totally stalked you if I don't know them, but if all of you are in here that are builders, like you should be talking to your hot market. If you have 200 followers, that's 200 people that, already follow you for you and and they like you and they trust you and you know they're there for a reason like you should already be having these conversations with these people while on the outside you're bringing in these cold market people right so you can start building that report and then eventually close them sometimes it takes a week sometimes it takes two weeks sometimes it takes a month it's taken me six months it's taken me two years but that's why it's so important to constantly be you know adding people into that funnel so you're not always relying on the same three four or five people one of my best market partners still to this day took me five months to get five months how often are you talking to these people when was the last time you like think about it in your funnel is there somebody right now in your funnel you really want as a market partner that's been in your funnel for five months right now that you you have you been building that and it takes time and I know that we want that instant gratification but it's not going to happen like that all the time it happens with some and we know who who is that going to happen with those 200 followers that you guys have right now but you have to build that conversation and I'll be in the middle of the conversation like and I'll be and like I don't like to waste time and I love my money people but if I see that you do money or you buy the product already like I'm already like next Who's next? Who can I create a conversation with? Next, who can I create a conversation with? Oh, she posted something about fashion. I'm not just going to be like, oh my God, I love your dress. But like, oh my gosh, the flowers on that dress are so, are so fluorescent. I, it's so hard for me to find a dress that, you know, 
accentuates my body the same way that it does do it does to you after I had a baby I feel so you know I feel so like blah like where did you get it I love how you style your body or whatever things like that like you you do with so much confidence do a compliment or make a comment where it's going to make them feel inspired. It's going to make them feel different. And it's not just the typical heart eyes or just the, oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. Like you have to stand out and stand apart from the crowd because everyone's trying to connect, but nobody's actually connecting with people. Who, who, why are you so different? Why are you so special than everyone else? You have to pretend. And honestly, this is the way that I love to connect with people. I feel like it works. It works for me, but I pretend like I'm like their bestie from the start. Like, if it's somebody I literally, like, just met on social media, I'm like, girl, and, like, my girls can tell you, my builders, I literally treat them like I'm speaking to my best friend because that is already going to build, it's going to bring down that wall that people already have on social media. They're like, eh, I don't know if I can trust you. Like, who are you? But as soon as I'm like, oh, my gosh, you look so hot. Yes, look at that baby with those little chubby cheeks. I just want to kiss them and, and, and just bite them. They're so cute. But moms love that. If you're a mom and like some moms can relate to them, they, they think it's cute and they can sense the energy exactly. Like, yes, yeah, be like, hey, bestie. And that really works because it, it's the energy and people can feel that through across the screen and just having those conversations after a few like times. And I see that, especially if they follow me back for, again, if you're in your hot market and talking to these people and if you're already posting about your products, about your business, you can literally be out of nowhere. By the way, when are you trying out my products? And I put like that emoji face when are we getting you to start it on these products by the way when are you going to do the business with me you totally kill it what are you waiting for i don't go out of my way like hey by the way i wanted to introduce you like no like i go straight in in the middle of the conversation i'll literally be like oh my gosh like yeah my kids were like going driving me crazy today but you know just another day in the life by the way da -da 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 -da. Because I already have her, you know, I already have their, his, her, whatever, their attention. We're, we're already kind of built a little report for like the past couple hours that we've been going back and forth for the past couple of days. And then I'll, if I feel comfortable where it's been a conversation back and forth, then I'll be able to do it, especially if they're watching my stories. But again, you can't just pitch if you're not posting about your products every single day, if you're not talking about the business every single day. Um, And I want to, you know, to go on here, like guys, like, a post doesn't always have to be a get ready with me. Like you can literally be walking down the street if the sun is shining on your face. And like, like today I felt sun kissed in the morning and I was just like slow mornings with like glowing hair, glowing skin. Like this is the best. And people actually see that it doesn't have to be a full on tutorial explaining the products. Like it doesn't always have to feel that way. Don't feel pressured for you to have to do that. It can be little snippets here and there, you know, and, and things that they can relate to back to it, which is like staying at home, me being able to go to the gym or maybe you be like, I can't wait to get out of this traffic. You know, I'm working towards a better life or things like that that people can relate to. But you have to inspire them in some way, somehow for them to be want to attract it to you and want to do what it is that you're doing. Um, but that's the way that I create conversations. And if you guys are not having conversations, again, I tell my team, I sound like a broken record. But fun fact, I, I promise you guys, I built my business on Saturday and Sunday mornings. I just feel like those days, like you, like I was in the trenches of like, you know, just giving birth and stuff like that. And I had toddlers and I was always up early and I just feel like on weekend mornings, people are chill, they're relaxed, they're in a happy mood. There's always a sale going on on top of that. Like utilize that, take two hours of your morning, whether it's at, you know, wake up at 8 a.m. or whatever it is and, and have those conversations with people. I'm telling you, notice your story views are much higher than the weekdays, right? People during the week, they're crazy. They're going about their day. Like they don't have time. Weekend mornings, honestly, are, are are heaven sent for you to have conversations with people to get them, you know, into getting your products and into your funnel. Um, so that's what I wanted to stay on, stay on the stories. I love that. And guys, just remember these three things. If you don't know how to start a conversation, think of a compliment, think of asking a question, or think of a common interest. But I will tell you this. Everything Angie just said is not going to work. Mm -hmm. And what I said, if you are not genuine about it, okay? If you are that type of person that was how I was when I started for like a day, like, I don't want to talk to people. I just want to make a sale. Like, you need to shift that mindset, okay? You want to get to know people. You want to make friends. Like, I pitched this girl the other day. She said no, and I still follow her, and I still love her content, and I still want to be her friend, even though she doesn't want to do Monet. And genuinely, I mean that, okay? People can sense when you are desperate. That's why we don't say focus on the only five potentials you have. You, you have so many conversations, you can't keep track. 
And when one day you have five market partners sign up the same day is because you've been talking to 300, planting seeds. People like to feel like they have to chase you. If you're constantly on top of them 24 seven, it's a red flag. Like, does she really need me? Does no one else want to do the business? Why is she so annoying? There's a difference between following up because you really see something in them and just being annoying and desperate. Liz followed up with me, but she was not annoying. She knew what she was doing. You know, like, are you sure you don't want to? You'd be great at it. No, she was going ham on her stories. That's why I'm like, that works. People are watching you, even if you think they don't. And then she'll follow up again, like, oh, look, like there's the sale. No, okay, like not desperate at all. Made me feel like, why isn't she like pushing more to get me? Okay, and I know when you're new, sometimes you get nervous or you word vomit or if you've been here for a while and you're desperate, you want to get, get the perfect pen and you're like, let me just see everything I can say. No, no one wants to join someone who's desperate, who's unexperienced. Remember, they're already viewing you like, if I join, I want to join with the best. I want to join with the leader. I want to join with someone I look up to. So keep that in mind. Something else I truly do believe in is you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, okay? Maybe it's a little cringe the first time you bring it up. Maybe you stutter. But if they're meant to be in your business, they're going to join whether it's today or in five months. So if you are double and triple thinking before answering back to someone, number one, you should not do that. The second you start double thinking, you're overthinking. Okay, do not overthink. It's so simple. Like when girls ask me questions and I'm like, just say that. Like the other day someone asked, they asked what's the name of the company. I'm like, it's Monet. She's like, oh, I don't know if I should say something else. I'm like, why would you say something else? It's Monet is the name of the company, right? So the second you start double thinking, you're overthinking and you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person. Always keep that in mind because the person that's meant to be here is gonna come back no matter how many times you mess up or how cringe you were. It's all about, especially right now, I'm working with a lot of girls that are coming back to the business or that have been, you know, here for a while and haven't ranked up and they've messaged a lot of people. Ask for an apology. Like, hey, I know the last time I messaged you, it was so cringe, but I'm more experienced now. I'm working closely with my mentor. I still see something in you, which is why I am reaching out to you again. Will you give me 20 minutes to get on a call with my mentor? That's how my girl got her potential yesterday. The girl was like, no, anti-money, anti-network marketing. We got her on a call and she's a market partner now. And I was like, wow, like this still works. And it's all because I spoke to her from the heart. I genuinely told her, look, even if you don't join, like my goal now and the reason why I still do this business is to impact women. I want, you know, we got a little personal and I was like, I want you to... I don't want to say too much, but whatever. And she was like, wow, like this is not how I expected this to go. And I was like, she, she, you know, blessings and God, I'm like, yes, sometimes they come in the most unexpected packages. But if I would have done that potential call and just told her, this is my name, these are the products, like you can join. There's no emotion. There's no story. There's no vision painting. So she would have been like, okay, I'll think about it. Okay. Also, I know a lot of us are very good with VIPs, right? A lot of you are so good with getting VIPs. You have a high PV and that's so amazing because we, we get paid a lot on them. They're repeat customers. Some eventually will turn into market partners. They give you referrals. I do not want to derail you guys from VIPs. But if your dreams do not require a team, your dream isn't big enough. Okay, if your dream does not require a team, your dream is not big enough. So start thinking about that team. Start thinking about leading. Don't settle for the 5,000 PV bonus or the 10,000 PV, PV bonus or shit, the 100,000 PV bonus. The money you're making with 100,000 PV is not even, it's not even the money. It's the impact. It's the connection. It's the community. It's the sustainability that you're going to get when you have a team. So your dream needs to require a team, which means your dream needs to require impacting people, getting to MMB, getting to market mentor, getting to director. And you're only going to get there by having more conversations, okay? Another way that's going to help you generate leads, and when we say generate leads, it can be on Instagram, it can be in person, it's going to be like people are going to be attracted to you is with your confidence. I know we throw this word around, but it's because we need it. And I want to re-emphasize that you don't need to have success to have confidence. Okay. Lock you the doors when they get out. 
You have the confidence and the confidence will bring you the success. But you know how you can get confidence being brand, brand new or maybe being in the business for a while and not having success. You need to believe in yourself, in the vision, in the company, in the products and where you're going to go. If you do not believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe for you. And if you're talking to someone that's a little bit ahead of you, they're going to sense it. I said it to one of my girls this morning. I said, by the tone in your voice, I can still see that you're one foot in and one foot out. And if I can sense it, your potentials can sense it. So you know how some of us attract market partners because of the way we carry ourselves. And guys, I promise you, I have carried myself like this since day one. Now, the only difference is that day one, I was sweating, I was cringing, and I could not look at my videos. And now I don't sweat, I don't cringe, and I can look at myself talk all day long, right? But the confidence is the same, the way you carry yourself. People want to join with someone that knows where they are going. You don't need to be there already, but you need to know where you are going. So the more confident you show up, the more you're going to attract people to you. Someone even asked me today on a question box, like, oh, do you do something for people that give you referrals? Do you accept referrals or leads? And I'm like, yeah, I'll take all the referrals, but why don't you just do the business if you if you want to send me people, right? But it's because of the confidence I have and the way I carry myself. And I think like the third and simplest way to ask for leads, to generate leads is to ask for referrals. And for a while, I feel like we kind of like drifted away from it or maybe didn't train on it as much. And now- that Eric, I mean, I've always asked my VIP for referrals, but I, for a while, didn't ask for referrals for the business. And now hearing Eric Bory say it over and over again, I have been. I literally have been. I'm like, do you know anyone that would benefit from this? Do you know anyone like you that you can connect me with? Do you know any stay-at-home moms that can benefit from an additional income? Are you guys asking for referrals? Okay, and this is all in addition to your hot market list, which, which should not be done yet. Okay, I do. We want to make that very clear. This is in addition to that list that's ongoing, the people that you're scared to reach out to, those are the ones you have to reach out the most. But when you're trying to do the most, you're posting those reels, you're engaging with people, you're starting the conversation with substance, not hard eyes. But also you're asking for the referrals. When someone tells you no, don't make them your enemy. Say, I completely get this is not for you. Do you have someone you can connect me with? I'm growing my team. And I'm looking to expand here, or I'm looking for moms, or I'm looking for students that want to build this with me. Do you know anyone that can benefit from an additional income? If you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no. And if you don't ask, it's another sign of weakness that you don't believe, that you don't believe in the business. Like I, when people tell me no, I go back. How many of you, when people tell you no, you hide and you never answer again? That used to be me at the beginning. Like, oh my God, how embarrassing. I'm going to pretend I never even saw that message. Now I'm like, no, bring it on. Okay, you said no, who can you connect me with? And now I see everyone as a relationship and then that relationship is going to be a connector to me. Maybe Angie is not going to be, you know, the one that works the business with me or my next director, but Angie's going to be a connector to someone I don't know. But that has to change in your mind that you want to talk to people. You want to connect with people. You want to meet people. It can't just be a, you know, transaction, hi, how are you? Okay, bye. You're not going to get anywhere. We can't be shallow when it comes to network marketing because we're here to network and we're here to market. Um, now, Angie's going to go over a three to one method that you guys can also implement on Instagram as well. But I keep reemphasizing, this is not going to get your results overnight. So number one, you have to be patient. But number, number two, you can't stop working your hot leads. Yes. So three to one is very quick and simple to find. I personally find them fun when you do it correctly. So three to one is basically you're going to comment on three pictures. You're, you mean, you're going to like three pictures. You're going to comment on two. Some people like to say I send a DM or a follow. So I like to call it 3211 because I do both. You guys know that your Instagram is kind of like a Pinterest board, right? You have the option. You have that little flag at the bottom where you can save it and you can save it to a board. So um, you don't want to make me whole so I can show them, Joe. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Um, so you guys can see it's more like a visual. I'm very visual. Oh, wait, wrong. Oh, wait, Ooh, what the hell did I just do? All right. So I'm going to share with you guys. So I have my, um, it's going to load now. There you go. I have my saved. 
you guys should guys work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you have an insight. Anytime I'm going to share my story on reels or whatever on my stories, it's all there. I don't have to go looking for like everything. Everything is in there and it is freaking, you know, yeah, I have MP January, but this is, these are all my potentials, regardless whether January, February, March or whatever. And I have them all in there. So I save every one of them into there using these little, so like if I find someone, let's say I find a girl, right, I'm going to save it and it's going to give me the option. So you can do like new collection or whatever, but I'll look for the market partner and I'll add them to that so that I can be able to, you know, know who to follow up with and continue having a conversation with them. You're going to notice there's people that you're having a conversation with, right? But they're never really going to respond. So pay attention to that because if I'm constantly engaging with you and I'm engaging with you and you think that you're too cool to engage with me, like don't bother with them. Unfollow and go on to the next one because there's plenty of people who are willing to become your friend, right? So super important to keep that in mind. So when I'm going to go look for someone, there's a really popular park right here by my house. I'm trying to build a, a Broward team. So this is how I've been looking for my moms lately. It's called Wellaby Park. So I'll go in there and I'll go into accounts that I have tagged it recently, right? So I'll go to Wellaby Park and Sunrise and I'll go in there and then somebody's writing on the screen. Please don't write on the screen. So I'll be able to find um parents through that. So you see like there's a cute little family here. I'm like, she likes posting on social media. That's somebody I'm like already, you know, seeing like I can like engage with. I'll go into her page. I see that, you know, she's not doing another network marketing company. Like, obviously, you have to do your homework, but I can relate with her. She's got kids. She likes posting on social media. Like, she's perfect. Actually, don't take her from me. I'm going to follow this girl. But what am I going to do? I'm going to like three of her things. I'm going to comment on two, and I'm going to click that follow button, right? But immediately so that I can remember who I'm following up with and who I'm making into putting into my prospect list, I'm going to add her to my MP January. Right. So what am I going to send her? I, honestly, I go crazy when it comes to the likes. Like sometimes you have to, you know, go a little bit out of your way or whatever. But I just do this. Clearly, she wants to be an influencer. She's got kiddos like she's literally the perfect prospect. Then I'll be like, hey, hey, sometimes I go ahead. Really quick, even though I don't do this, but when you're liking Sometimes even like like an older post because the, I notice if someone likes a super old post of mine versus yeah. if you're a recent post everyone's liking my recent post. So like there, how she just scrolls down, that's going to get that girl's attention more than if she likes the, the last one she posted. Exactly. But look, she's like posting things already. So in this case, honestly, I'll be like, oh my gosh, she did, I, I see them like, she did such a great job. I'm like the worst when it comes, I basically buy everything straight off of the mannequin. Um, That's hilarious. You know, I, or whatever. Something else was like, she's going to relate to that. She's like, yeah, she's amazing. I had such a good experience with her. And we're going to go back and forth with that. And I'll be like, yeah, my house has, I've been had it for two years now. And I still haven't been able to finish it because I suck at interior design. So I'm going to check her out and go from there and kind of create like a relationship with her. Right. So that's how you kind of do the three, two, one. Guess what? You can still go back to that, you know, part that where you searched or whatever. Or what you can do is you can go into her followers. The people that follow her are already people that you're going to like because if they relate to her content, you're going to relate to them somehow too. So that's how I go about it because I don't have to continue going out of my way looking for people. Um. Oh, look, we have some common people, right? So look, and then I'll go into there and I'll like start going into her followers and start creating, you know, conversations with those people as well. I see like a Stephanie, whatever her name is. I'll go in there. She's got 14,000. Great. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I start going. She's posting her kiddo. She's comfortable with it. And I'll do the same thing over and over again. Then I'll go into Steph's follower. I like Steph. I like what she brings to the table. I like how she posts. And then I, and that's how I find my people instead of constantly going into hashtag moms in Aussie hashtag. If you're looking for someone in UK, you would start there. But then you would go into that UK mom that you're really attracted to, right? And then you would go into her followers. So it kind of just stays in that same what is that word that I'm like in that same chain, right? Of right. people instead of constantly having to go out here like, okay, like, let me see what other UK mom I can go into. Like, no, you're going to go into people that are kind of like in that same oh, okay. triangle circle or whatever. Does that make sense? Um, But that's the best way to go about your three, two, ones. You should be doing these guys often because that's how, yes, reels work and they bring in new people. But if you're not getting new followers from your reels, this is the way that you're going to get your new people coming in. This is how many times has somebody done it to you and then you go and you check out their page, 
And you're like, oh, I can see myself being friends with this person. And then you give them a follow back, which is why it's super important to have your, you know, have your bio set up. Let them know who you are, what you do or whatever. Don't have a super spammy page feed, meaning like show them your five pillars. Yes, I do Monet, but I'm not just Monet. Who are you reaching out to? You guys won't see me reaching out to a college girl because my entire page is not college. It is family life. It is beauty. It is fashion or whatever it is, right? So just keep that in mind because at the end of the day, if you are doing these three to ones and you are reaching to new people and, and having yes. these conversations, you have to make sure that your portfolio, which is your IG, is going to back you up when it comes to that. So it's super important to have that. Now, again, um, I do this with family a lot. I know that this isn't for you, but would you mind, you know, um, I don't know, would you mind putting a cute picture of me on your story, explaining a little bit about what I do and tell people if they're interested, like ask your friends and family to give you a shout out, especially your VIPs, because people are going to be interested and they're going to want to reach out to you guys. Right. Or again, ask for those recur referrals, right? Like, don't be so eager. You kind of want to treat it too. Like if you're dating people, okay. Like, you know, take dating takes a good minute sometimes as well. But also if a conversation is flowing, don't sit on it and just play hard to get like feel it out. And if you guys are getting good vibes, like roll with it before you send a message, read it out loud to yourselves. Does it sound like something you would send to someone? Right. If not, then go ahead and delete that and type out what you would say loud into text. You can literally say, you know, say voice to text and it'll do that. But remember that you are in control. Don't be pushy. It's okay to casually revisit after start the conversation back again, like Joe said to you guys, right? Um, And then like, just tell them naturally like that. But, you know, open-ended questions that you guys can ask, for example, to your, you know, to your people to find out their pain points. If you guys don't know what pain points is, you're in the right time right now to join Joe's book club because get over your damn self literally teaches you this guys if you're you can't do book club okay but get yourself the book the moment i passed chapter 10 and i say this like a broken record i got a more neighborhood of that day because i understood finally what it is to connect with people right and learn how to find their pain points by asking these open-ended questions like what are you currently doing for work now what makes you interested in a side income how much money a month are you looking to add into your bank account like if they're saying oh my god yeah I'm, I'm like what are you currently doing every single day at the moment yeah i'm home with the kiddos oh my gosh that's fun like um are you doing anything for fun these days do you guys what kind of play this like things like that where you, you want to kind of go straight into that pain because if she's like yeah but i mean i'm kind of it, you know it's going every day is kind of looking the same i'm getting a little bit bored i have i'm having a hard time finding community around me i'm like girl like and then that's her pain point i'm gonna go based on what she's saying that she's having a hard time with and what she's looking for if i'm speaking to a college student where she's like i'm like i'm going crazy i have so many studies right now going on um but yeah i'm like going into student loan debt like it's insane i'm like there's her pain point Go based on that, show her how there's other college girls making it happen, how you can help her relieve that financial uh, stress through doing this business. But you have to get to know people by asking them the questions. A good salesperson is a person that listens. Oh, I'm the one that's sorry. I forgot I was host. That's why. My bad. <laughs> um, And that's it. I don't know if you want to add to that, but that's pretty much it, guys. I, did you guys understand the three, two, ones? And um, it's work. Three, two, ones are work, right? Doing yeah. one, three, two, one is not going to be enough. You see how Angie started going down the rabbit hole. You follow Angie, Angie would, it's work. But hey, this is your business. You need to be willing to put in the work. If you are sitting around waiting for people to just come to you because of your pretty face or because you've been praying every night, Guys, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You need to be attracting. You need to put putting something that people want to stick to. Okay. And if you have big dreams, if you want to do big things with the company, just attracting is not enough. We need to go out and look. We need to go out and ask. Okay. And I, I want to end it with this, this thought. Um, how many of you, and you can be honest, how many of you think that your chances of winning in this business, becoming SED, becoming MBC are not probable? Put it on the chat. 
hit me. If you think it's not probable, and I'm not judging, but it's normal. You get it and you're like, whoa, this is harder than I thought, right? Like I can't recruit 10 market partners in one month. Do you think it's probable for you? Those of you that, that do think it's probable, you better be doing it. <laughs> okay. For those of you that don't think it's probable, it's normal. And I appreciate you for being honest because it takes a lot. I know you guys are like, oh my God, like this is so hard. But I want to remind you that it does not have to be probable. It has to be possible. You don't need probable. You need possible. And you're in the best team and in the best company to show you what's possible. Because you don't have one, two, five, 10, 15, 20 mentors that have succeeded. You have hundreds of mentors that have succeeded. Hundreds of people that have made over a million dollars. Hundreds of people that have made over $100,000. Hundreds of people that have retired from their jobs. Hundreds of people that have changed their whole story. So it's not about how probable it is. It's about the fact that it's possible and hundreds of thousands of people have done it before you, if them, why not you? And that brings it back full circle to where we started and it's mindset. The key to this business is mindset. If you don't believe in yourself wholeheartedly, I kind of want to say you're wasting your time doing everything else because until you change your mind, I don't care how many books you read, how many calls you get on, you're not, even if you're having conversations, you're oh. stuttering, your oh. hesitation is going to show in the conversations. Okay, so give yourself some self-love, some positive affirmations. When I started, guys, every time I would walk by a mirror, I'm worthy, I'm capable, I'm a leader, I'm a director, I'm an ED, I have a huge team, I'm a market partner magnet. Every time I saw a mirror, and at first it was so freaking weird. And then it just became a habit. And you say it to yourself so much that you believe it. And then I genuinely, I was like, I'm so freaking unstoppable. Everyone wants to join my team. For a little bit, it got to my head. I was like, whoa, calm down. But it's because I, I believed it so much. Everyone believed it, right? But if you're like, I believe it, but your words say otherwise, your actions say otherwise, you post when you want to, and you only reach out to those people that like say hi to you, you don't want it that bad. Okay, so today, homework, redefine your why, redefine why you're here, redefine your goals, and then write down if your actions are matching where you want to go. Yes, we're, we gave you some great ideas and tips and tricks to generate leads, but are you going to sit and wait for those leads to come to you? Or are you going to work on attracting those leads while physically messaging, voice noting, phone calling, hosting events for all those people that you're so scared to reach out to, okay? We have half the month left. So many success stories already. So many people winning. So many people hitting MMP. So many new girls. Like I have so many new girls booking me on calls. I'm like, yes, please bring me more potentials. And I'm telling them, all you need to say is like, get on a call with my mentor. Tune into this call. You guys don't have to say much, okay? People appreciate the honesty. Let your excitement lead you and let your vision paint the picture for them. And your mentor or your third-party tool will do the rest, okay? Um, so I think this is all, right, Angie? All we have? Perfect. You guys feel good, feel confident. Don't go to bed without creating 10 new conversations. <laughs> Let's go. Have, remember, when you're looking at people on Instagram, take five minutes to investigate. You yes. don't see that person that's DMing a market partner already in Monet, someone in another bit, like, be smart. Okay. It takes time. That's why I say it's work, but it will pay off. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night and let's get some wins. Bye.